Okay, so I don't have the kids. I'm walking into Once Upon a Child. I'm so excited to see if I can find anything good for the kids. Um, looks like they have 50% off in here, so yes. Oh, this is cute. This is such a cute little table. I love this table. This is a cute little stool. Pacific or in specific. I'm trying to find some jammies for the kids. So let's see what we can find. If anything, they have a lot of options here at the thrift store for kids, and I love that. So let's see. with like the graphic stuff I like how some of their stuff has tags on it still though oh, look at how sweet this one is this one's so cute if you're into pink Oh, those are nice too. But this is like five. So this is a little too, a little too big. Oh, they have the little cups here and silicone pieces. They love these. So probably get one of these. <laughs> These are so cute too. kids edition though so this is all stuff that I got thrifted for the kids for fall and winter so I'm so excited to share this really cute little stack of clothes with you guys it's so big um, I was able to find a good amount of stuff I went to once upon a child now this was not all in one trip I went two times because the first time I just didn't have much luck I got like two things so when I went back a few weeks later this is what I got so yes this video has been in the works for a few weeks and I'm so glad that I held off because I was just gonna include my little finds in like a vlog or whatever but then I went back and was like oh I need to do a haul and I'm really excited to sit down and hold on you guys this is my first sip of caffeine today I'm just like oh, it just tastes so good I'm drinking cold brew I'm gonna sit down chat show my thrift finds with you guys you guys seem to really like thrifting on this channel so we're gonna completely just continue with it because i love to thrift 
you guys like to watch so let's go ahead and let's get into the haul I took you guys with me in the store for a little bit and you know got a little footage did a little montage if you will but my camera died so I wasn't really <laughs> prepared for that but I think I got enough footage where you guys can kind of see some of these items that I picked up um but I went to once upon a child if you guys don't know what that is that is a thrift store based around kids everything kid so they have like strollers and um swings and lots of clothes from newborn up to like older kids so they even had this sweater in there that I was like I really want it was from Hollister and it was like a confetti sweater. I have obviously been really into my confetti wear last year and this year. Anyways, it totally wasn't going to fit me, but I, I wanted to get it so bad I would have wore it myself. Anyways, um, but yeah, Once Upon a Child is great. Now, I am going to say this. Goodwill, Salvation Army, things like that. Stores like that have better deals than I would say Once Upon a Child. But the thing about Once Upon a Child is... Um, they all their clothes are damn near brand new so you're not going to get anything with stains or holes not saying that goodwill you will because I haven't I haven't had that problem but they have a lot more of a selection and maybe even higher quality items at once upon a child so I keep wanting to say once upon a farm like the kids baby food but no that's <laughs> That's not it. They're a little bit more pricey than like your normal thrift store. They also take donations. Okay, not, they do take donations, but they will pay you for, would that be donations? They buy clothes from moms that you guys don't want anymore. I have personally done this several times where I just gave them a whole bunch of baby stuff my kids weren't wearing and they go through and they pick what they want now they're very picky about this process because they want to make sure that they're only selling damn near new clothes so if it's dingy if it has a stain if it has anything they ain't gonna take it but if not they'll take it and they'll give you a few bucks for it I mean I don't mind just donating um I have like begged them before to just take the stuff even if they don't want to buy it off of me because I don't want it anymore and someone else can use it but they will pay you a few dollars if you're interested in that little program that they do they'll take some clothes look over it and then offer you a price don't get your hopes up it's not going to be something major or big but it, it's something it's a few dollars a few coins so let's go ahead and let's get into this really cute stack of clothes now if you guys are new here I love my neutrals my kids wear neutrals on a daily basis basically every day I just like it that way it keeps it simple keeps it classy the kids always look put together and um, gender neutral you can use all these clothes for every single gender and that's what I love so much about wearing neutrals and keeping it just easy is that the kids can wear it boy girl all my next kids if there is any next kids they can wear all of this stuff so that's really great and you can mix and match and another thing I always size up so if for instance Noah wears like a 3T I'll always go like 4T 5T that way he can have a little room in it he can wear it for a while especially if I'm buying like small shop items I always size up because those are expensive even for thrift items I still like to size up and I like my kids to have room I don't like it to be too tight I like it to look kind of loose and comfy and oversized if you will so that's that's just like my thought process when shopping I believe in ethical shopping and sustainable living all of that stuff but however when you go to the thrift store it's a little bit harder you will find some more fast fashion pieces in there and that's okay it being secondhand makes it more sustainable and you know you're not buying it straight from the store you're not buying it from Shein or Zara or whatever um, or the children's place any of those places you're buying it secondhand which makes it more sustainable in my book so that's that's a plus because it's hard to find like organic all of that kind of clothing at the thrift store you kind of just get what you get and it takes time it definitely takes time to sift through all of the clothes and just see what's there but once upon a child makes it really easy because they have everything by sizes by color like they have everything color coordinated which is really nice too so I'm so here for once upon a child I've been going there for three years now since Noah was a baby 
and I'm so glad we have one in our area. All right, I'm gonna stop yip yapping and showing you guys the clothes. So this first item, first of all, everything always smells so good when you get it from there, which is a plus. I mean, I love that. This is a knit sweater, cable knit sweater. This is the back. It has little buttons. Someone vacuuming. It has little buttons in the back. This is the front. Looks similar to the back without the buttons. And it's so cute. It's so warm. It's so thick. So, so thick. And it's really good quality. So I'm loving that. And this is in the size 4T. And this is actually by Crazy 8 originally. So this is really nice. And I got this really, again, for both kids. Nola will probably wear this. They both are going to wear all of these things at some point. So... I also got this cute little basic, just little basic onesie for Nola. It has like little ruffles on it. I think this piece is obviously a little more girly, so I don't think Noah will wear this. But if we ever have any more kids, another girl or whatever, she will wear this. And this is a little bigger. This is in size 4T to 5T. So Nola's only two wearing like a 2 to 3T. But again, she will fit this at some point and definitely be wearing it this would even be cute with like some bloomers or some little leggings and like a sweater over it because I love to layer my kids for the fall and winter I also got another okay I gotta st stop saying also got you guys know like there's more there's more shit coming this is a nice sweater by the children's place it's not like super thick but it will definitely keep them warm like at the park or something this is in 4t extra small and it has like a little v-neck detailing on it very cute just a nice simple beige color which you guys know i'm all here for i got this adorable jacket when i saw this I i'm not a huge fan of denim in general but when i saw this i was like i need it i absolutely need it so this has really cute little wooden buttons on it really cute detailing and it has like this little ruffle in the back kind of cinching it in and this one is in 3t so noah will probably be able to wear this like one season and if not again gender neutral nola will wear it too so i absolutely love that it has like some padding it's from the brand oshkosh which i know probably a lot of you guys know them they've been around forever and the little collar you guys this is so cute so cute so i love this oh and the little pockets how can you forget the little pockets has the little ruffle detailing and it's just it's cute it's cute okay i love it i got the kids some matching sherpa jackets now this was such a good find and this is by the brand union bay so union bay is like really good quality jackets now something strange that i noticed about these sherpa jackets and just when i was there when i first went for my very first thrift at this shop for the fall and winter time like a few weeks back i came across this jacket and i got it i got it for noah and i was like why didn't i get one for nola because they had like five or six that i saw going through all the different sizes they had like five or six of these so i don't know if someone had like quadruplets or something and they had like the same outfits that they all donated but there was literally four or five of these in the whole store and this is a really good find really good quality and it has like a little zipper good working zipper you guys hear that yes a little hood i don't love the dark gray but i mean it's still neutral and it's still cute i absolutely love this and i actually found a jacket if you guys go back to another thrift haul i did that was like boho home decor and like some random stuff i found a sherpa jacket as well that matched the kids so it all just kind of worked out that way so i got noah one and then ended up going back this second time that you guys saw my second trip and got all of this stuff um because my first trip i only got this and this so the first trip was just these two the second trip I hauled all of this stuff and I'm so glad that I went back for a second time and I was able to even size up in the jacket and give this one to Nola and size up even bigger for Noah so he'll be able to wear it next year too so I'm really excited so got two of these scored two of these Sherpa jackets 
such a good deal and this little sweater you guys I could not it's a color block sweater and it has black gray and kind of like a light gray up here I'm not a huge fan of gray and black but I lean more towards like the warmer tones as you can see like I love the warmth I love the warm in my wardrobe and in my house it just brings like me happiness but every now and then I do love some cool tones and I think that this is a beautiful neutral sweater and it's such good quality you guys like I wish you could feel just feel through the screen how good of quality and thick this girl is thick okay just nice thickness here and this is also by crazy eight so crazy eight has some really good quality stuff I absolutely love this so I want one in my size I'm jealous I swear does anybody else feel like their kids wardrobe is better than their own like hello two other things that I got for the kids my thrift store has these really cute cups I seen these on Etsy you seen do you know English I saw these on Etsy and then we ordered a few we have them in a few other colors and I put them in the kids Easter baskets but then I saw these and had to get them now funny story when I brought these home this one I already had lost the straw for this but we already had the same color but we lost the top for the other one so I just took the straw and put it in here but I couldn't find the straw around the house for the longest time so I thought that was gone too and there was just gonna be no straw then Nola last night was in the toy basket and she like pulled out the straw randomly and was chewing on it so your girl has a straw for this now I'm excited now if you're gonna buy these cups these were not cheap they were like $13 each and on Etsy they're about like 11 to 15 to 20 dollars as well so these were not like a good deal but I really do like them they make your kids feel a little more independent Nola likes sipping out of a straw and so does Noah they don't hold too much liquid I wish they were a little bit bigger um, and the pieces get lost easy like you open it up and you just got to kind of monitor your kids because they have the cup, the straw, and the top. And the top, and they go missing easy if you're not keeping an eye out. So when your kids are using these, monitor them because you don't want them to lose the pieces because if they lose the pieces, then the cup doesn't really work anymore. For Montessori purposes, like kids use these cups all the time. So I guess if you do lose the straw and the top, it's all good. Your kids are supposed to learn how to drink from a cup, just a simple cup, just like this without any straw or top they do this kind of early on in Montessori but I just don't know if I'm for the mess like if I give them juice they're just gonna completely pour it out on themselves so we stick to a straw and a top but I know in Montessori a lot of the times they just use the cup so if you do lose the straw in the top just still save it because later on down the road your kids can just drink out of this silicone cup and the colors I really like the colors like a warm rusty color and like this nice beige color like I said, we have like many of these, but you gotta keep track of the pieces. That's the one thing I don't really care for, but I mean, hey. Anyways, you guys, that is it. That is all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't think it was too long. I showed you all the pieces that I got. So yeah, that's basically it. Now we don't, I'm gonna do some more fall. I have like some more fall winter pieces as well for the kids so I'm gonna probably do another video like small shop shopping video for the kids so stay tuned for that and I also have pieces from last year that are an absolute staple so I might include those as well but if you guys want to know more about our clothing and clothing hauls I have like a few videos on my channel and I think I did one last year for fall and winter yeah last year so check that out. I think most of the clothes are from The Simple Folk. We love The Simple Folk. That's one of my favorite clothing brands. They are pricey, but they're sustainable, organic, all the good things, natural materials. And your girl loves that kind of lifestyle. So I always get asked where I get the kids clothes, thrifting or a small shop. There's usually no in between. I rarely do Amazon or Target or Walmart or any of those just because again they're not sustainable that's not really my jam but you know hey if it's yours it's that's all good too but I like to shop as sustainable as possible so yeah and another thing is we 
lean more towards like the minimalist side i'm not like gonna say i'm a minimalist and i have like nothing in my home like that's not that's not it <laughs> but we do like to repeat outfits all of the time so you'll see my kids in the same outfits i don't like to buy too many clothes even though i personally think they have too many and i need to so i ran out of memory space great of course but i was saying that um my kids just wear stuff on repeat i feel like they have too many clothes as is so i need to downsize that and donate a whole bunch of stuff maybe i'll even like do something on instagram if you guys want to buy them off of me or maybe i'll just do like a mama in need if you know someone in need for some kid clothes i don't know we'll do something follow me on ig to see what's up with that and if you want to see more of our everyday life that's where it's at ig house of harvey's underscore is where we're at on a daily basis and you can kind of see things as it happens more in like real time because youtube is like way far behind for us usually but i also forgot to tell you guys prices i know you guys like to know what the prices were and i kind of just forgot so this jacket was 550 this one was 550 as well this sweater was 450 such a good deal this would have cost you like, I don't even know, $30, $40 at least. I know small shops charge like $70 for those kind of sweaters. $5.50 for these, so that's awesome. So $5.50 and what is this one? $6.50. So the bigger one that was a size 5 for Noah was a dollar more than the other one. And this t-shirt was $2.50 with the little ruffles and the cable knit sweater was $5.50 as well. So like I said, they're a little bit more expensive than your typical thrift store. But for good reason. It's good quality. They're clean. They're very like wholesome and brand new. So, you know, I don't mind paying a few extra coins. I still save so much money by thrifting. Remember, thrifting takes work, but it's just, it's so worth it. You save a lot of money and it's fun i love to thrift i know it's not everybody's jam but i love to go in there and find new things for such a good price i swear i get some kind of high off of it but i i love thrifting thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one if you like thrift hauls if you like these kind of videos please hit that like button it helps your girl out so much i would really appreciate that subscribe if you're new and also check out my second channel if you guys like true crime and makeup i'll leave that down below too i started a second channel and i'm having so much fun with it i mean the cases are pretty crazy and sad but i'm having fun doing the makeup and you know talking true crime with you guys i'm really passionate about true crime as well so if you're into that kind of thing too i'll leave that channel down below and you guys can check that out as well so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one. Bye.